Valley News Live, 10 at 10, continues with no wait weather. Well, I'm glad uh, Babe is doing okay. Yeah, That's yeah. kind of a tough fall, actually. You've referenced them many times during your weather forecast. Right, usually I'm referencing the pair that's in uh, the Bemidji area, but Brainerd definitely, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they keep up with the, yeah. the local legends. So, <laughs> Our weather has really quieted down tonight. The winds have been gusty throughout the day, starting to settle down. A 7-mile-per-hour breeze out of the northwest continues. It is 67 degrees. Our dew points have really taken a dive. We're down into the 50s. Current temperature, 59 Langdon. Roseau at 64. That's the same temperature right now for uh, WeFest goers. 64 in Detroit Lakes, a degree better in Sisseton, and a pair of 61s for Valley City and Jamestown. Here's a peek at the dew point temperatures, and that sticky air to start the day was uh, down in southern Minnesota. Now we have this northwest wind blowing through as we set the clock in motion. The dry air from the west pushed in. Our dew points stayed in the 50s all day, and the muggy air disappeared out of southern Minnesota as well. Very dry air out to the west with dew points in the 30s and 40s throughout the day. Here's a look at our area. Very quiet now as we head to bed. Strong storms associated with the same cold front that brought our severe weather now rumbling through northern portions of Illinois. As we take you uh, in a little bit closer, the radar has shown a few speckles here and there, spotty sprinkles. But with the setting sun and the decreasing clouds, this activity should wane as well. Your hour-by-hour -hour forecast shows that. As we go through the uh, overnight hours, I expect temperatures to generally be fairly quiet uh, and cool. As we take a look then, as we go into the uh, midday hours, we'll see temperatures rising from around 60 degrees all the way up into the mid-70s. Another cooler day, but one big change is going to be the winds. There's going to be a lack of the gusty nature we had today. Still in that 10 to 20 mile per hour category, and the strongest of the winds will likely be to the north and east, and that is once again where we'll see a chance of a spotty sprinkle or two. The best time of the day, light winds, plentiful sunshine, is after work when we'll see temperatures near 80 south, a lot of 70s north, and again, the best chance of sprinkles in our far eastern counties of central Minnesota. Your planner for Fargo, rise and shine on your Friday morning. A lot of sunshine early, light winds and temperatures climbing into the low 60s on their way to a high near 80. Just a couple of midday clouds with northwest winds generally around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Near 80 for most in southeast North Dakota. A dry day and not as gusty, but still a northwest component to that wind. A lot of mid 70s to near 80 out in Lakes Country. There could be a sprinkle near Hubbard County. Passing, uh, it'll be brief, it'll be very light. As we look up into Northland, that's where we'll have the best chance at passing sprinkles of rain. Mid to upper 70s, 8 to 79, and 76 degrees in Argyle. Uh, up in the Cavalier area, expect 77, 78 for Devil's Lake. Partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies for the afternoon, and 80 for Grand Forks. Here's a look at your uh, picture of the day. This one was uh, uploaded by Jim. Thanks so much. What a pairing here. We have... Not only the barn, but beautiful double rainbow being split by lightning. So, quite a picture there. Here's your equally as pleasant seven-day forecast. For uh, anyone heading out, out of doors this weekend, it's going to be quiet. It's going to be increasingly warm, and it looks pretty pleasant. Isolated thunder on Sunday, but by and large, most of us will stay quiet. Increasing chances of showers and storms into the middle of next week with the heat returning as well. A pretty good weekend ahead then. Can you stay quiet? You said most of us will stay quiet. Oh, don't ask a meteorologist <laughs> to stay quiet. Yeah. Sorry, it just can't be done. <laughs> All right, they claim to protect you from the Zika virus, but one attorney general says don't waste your money on bogus products. And these puppies traveled thousands of miles to be adopted, getting out of South Korea just in the nick of time. Your bark's worse than your bite, too, Morton.